Good morning. Back again with uh, one more video for this uh, this trip down the shore. It's almost 11 o'clock in the morning on uh, December 4th, and uh, I'm heading back up to Pennsylvania today. <clears throat> So I wanted to get one final ride in before I left. It's not a very nice day down here. Uh, it's temperature's not too bad. It's about 52, 53 degrees, but there is no sun. It is very overcast. There's no rain in the forecast, but it certainly looks like it's about the rain. And I put a couple of videos up to show Cape May in December, and I want to do that throughout the throughout the season, throughout the year. Uh, so that I can watch that, uh, you know, from my home up in Pennsylvania. And I also uh, took the opportunity to go over to Wildwood to show uh, Wildwood in December. And I rode through the villas uh, on my way home from the Wildwood just today to uh, show a little bit of the villas in December. And I decided for the ride today, a quick ride, I would come over to my favorite place down the shore, which is uh, Cape May Point. And I'm starting this ride at Lake Lily. And uh, like every place, I guess, it's not quite as scenic and as uh, as beautiful as it is in season. But it's still a very uh, very serene place. Uh, and, and a place that I uh, would come to more often if I could afford to uh, own a home over here in Cape May Point. But uh, it's a, it's, Cape May Point is, is a uh, really um, quaint, beautiful, uh, out-of-the-way community. I think they have less than, fewer, fewer than uh, 300 residents. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I enjoy it, <clears throat> and I wanted to come over and make a quick ride around Cape May Point <clears throat> to show... Uh, what this community looks like at this point in the year, December 4th. Um, I am, as I said a minute ago, I'm heading up uh, today, so I will not be able to sort of uh, film and, and document the Christmas tree lighting ceremony in Rotary Park uh, tomorrow night in Cape May. But when I get back down here, I'll take a ride over to uh, to document what it looks like. But I had hoped to actually attend that uh, Christmas tree lighting uh, ceremony um, and put that up, but that's not to be. I have to get back. Uh, my my granddaughter has a gymnastics meet uh, tomorrow, and it's the first one in, you know, since early 2020 because of COVID, and uh, nothing uh, is more important to me than uh, my grandkids, so heading up today so that we can attend that meet uh, tomorrow. So that's sort of where I am, what I'm doing, and uh, hope you enjoy this, uh, this video. I don't have a whole lot to say uh, about the places I'm going to show in this video because I've done that uh, in previous videos, so there's no point in reiterating all that. I just wanted to uh, come over to, you know, as I said, to capture um, this little community at this point in the year, December 4th. That was Lake Lily that I just left.
straight ahead is uh, Cape May Point State Park right in front of me straight in front of me is a Roman Catholic Church I can't remember the name of it I don't I've never been to this church but this is the Roman Catholic Church for Cape May Point and across the street from me is the red store and it doesn't look as red as I've seen it in the past probably could use a uh, brush up painting but it's the general store but everybody refers to it as the red store see these uh, trees or I can see uh, some of these trees have been uh, decorated with Christmas lights around them so um, obviously uh, cannot see anything uh, during the day uh, to show that effect but I, I will surely come over here uh, some evening And no stop over in uh, Cape May Point would be complete without a quick run by the, uh, the lighthouse.
it'll go down go down by uh, St. Mary's St. Mary's by the sea the uh, the retreat <clears throat> that I showed before for um, zoned by the uh, St. Joseph's nuns Roman Catholic nuns uh, it used to be many years ago a retirement community but it's now a retreat and it's scheduled to be well, it's not it is going to be closed here it is Stop up here to show the um, St. Peter's by the Sea, the uh, somewhat famous Episcopalian Church. I think they call it the Gingerbread Church for a good reason when you say it. Here is uh, the uh, the Gingerbread Church, the uh, St. Peter's by the Sea Episcopalian Church. This is still a uh, you know it's a functioning church, um, services every week. really have any uh, <clears throat> set agenda for this ride. see I think some of the Christmas tree bulbs on that tree to show that it is decorated
I don't know if this uh, home that I'm looking at, this, this might be incorrect information, but um, there is a, uh, a home over here called the Gray Ghost. And it was moved here um, in the early, two, uh, right after the year 2000 or 2005 or so from, I think, some place called Seagrove. Um, and like many places, it's uh, reputed to be haunted. <laughs> and there's a sign on the front, so it doesn't say the Grey Ghost. So I guess I guess I am wrong, and that's not the Grey Ghost. But somewhere around here, there is. Uh, large home referred to as the Grey Ghost. I think what I'll do to wrap this up, instead of just keep riding around these streets, I'll, I'll go out and uh, take a ride down to Sunset Beach, <clears throat> which is, I think, technically not, not part of Cape May Point uh, as a... Um, as a burrow, but it's close and I might as well, I might as well swing by and see what that looks like and I'll wrap this video up at that point. I don't know if it comes through in the video, but literally every single person that I pass when I'm in Cape May Point <coughs> smiles and waves and says hello. Every single one.
even the uh, even the construction workers that are working on homes as I pass by they all uh, throw a smile and a wave and say hello There's the uh, World War II lookout tower to my left. And as you can see, it's really not a very nice day. <clears throat> it makes it a little bit easier for me to leave uh, sort of Cape May and surrounding areas when it's a it's a damp gray day like this. Okay, so I think uh, I'm, I'm at Sunset Beach. That's the uh, SS Atlantis directly in front of me. There's the sign. I've talked about that. So uh, the sign says, Remains of experimental concrete ship, one of 12 built during World War I, proven impractical after several transatlantic trips because of weight. In 1926, the Atlantis was purchased by Colonel Jesse Rosenfeld to be used as a ferry dock in Cape May. I think I mentioned that before. Uh, in Cape May, New Jersey, for a proposed ferry between Cape May and Cape Enlope in Delaware. On June 8th, a storm hit and the ship broke free of other moorings and ran aground 150 feet off the coast of Sunset Beach. Several attempts were made to free the ship, but none were successful. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's a story of this uh, concrete ship, and I think I mentioned that story that it was initially uh, brought here to be used um, as a, um, uh, a a ferry dock, um, and it and it didn't work. So that that's that's what that sign says. So anyway, uh, damp, gray day. Um, and that's it. I'm going to shut this down, head home, pack up, and head up to Pennsylvania uh, so there won't be any more videos from Cape May or the shore from me for uh, a couple days at least, maybe a week. So take care. Hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the scenes of Cape May Point and um, Sunset Beach. Take care.